You know, the milk goes sour. Every uh, The milk's been sitting there for a hundred years. I wish I could get Brigadoon milk. They used to have that stuff Parmalat. It's kind of like Brigadoon milk. It stays fresh for a hundred years. When I was younger, I didn't much care for landscape painting. It seemed like, hey, here's a rectangle, and here is the mountain, and here is the water, and... But landscape painting saved my life. I'll tell you why. This guy has become a bit of a cult figure, as his painting instruction has made it back into the canon. But for a while, he was only a joke, and now I think he's sort of an ironically appreciated guy, or just fully appreciated. He had a big afro and a big beard, and he got really excited about painting and completing things in an era when I was a perfectionist. I'm still occasionally a perfectionist, but I don't use that as my sole focus, as my come from, as my, you know, the thing I sit into is, this guy isn't even thinking about that. It's, well, let's do a mountain and, oh, let's put some, Let's put some snow on the mountain and let's do trees and oh, look at that stream. And This guy had his own internal logic. I had written a play that was a giant flop, an embarrassing flop, mortifying flop. People I respected worked on it. People I respected came to it. People I respected were on my side and it was a flop. And I felt like a failure. I felt like the first scene in a movie, the first reel before the person's life turns around. And as I woke one day and put on the television, there was Bob painting, and I hadn't seen him since I was a kid. There he was, and just doing his thing and not caring. Just doing what he did. I, not not caring, he cared. But he wasn't hung up on it. He wasn't hung up on anything. He might have had some self-medication going on, or he might have just been someone who was really easygoing, and he changed my life. And it's interesting now to see that he has this newfound popularity. People have mugs and t-shirts and all kinds of things with his face on it. But I feel as though my moment of seeing him on a television in a cheap motel in upstate New York was personal. He was my personal EMS worker who was like, hey man, you know, it's really just a scratch. Here's a Band-Aid. Get on with your life.